Hey guys, Marvin again from Reamaze. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. This is actually an update to one of our older videos that you can find on our YouTube channel. And it's actually for the widget builder that we recently uh, updated. Um, so if you're familiar with the Reamaze shop box widget, which is this one here, you'll notice that it looks a little bit different and there's some new features uh, built into the widget builder as well as the widget itself. So if you click on it, there's obviously a new animation. Um, the form fields look a little bit different. Um, there's a response time, uh, agent response time here, as well as new triggers. So let's go over that right now um, and show you guys how to build a widget from scratch and then getting the code and pasting it into your into your into your site. So here, this is the dashboard demo. So let's go ahead and start off with going to the settings menu, and we're going to go down to the widget builder under website integration. So the great thing about the widget builder is that it's really a uh, point and shoot. Um, so you kind of just tell us what you want and we'll, you know, we'll give you the code that you need to copy and paste. There's really no coding required. Um, all you need to know is how to edit the HTML file um, on your site and just, you know, basic copy and pasting skills. So to get started, um, just tell us what you want. So I want a contact form. That's what I want. Um, load it as a Reamaze shout box um, for my Daffy Widgets brand. Okay, so we're going to click next. So this is what it looks like on the right-hand side. This is the default look, and it refreshes on the fly as you change things. So go ahead and click next. And let's say we want it, um, you know, 40 pixels from the bottom, and then 40 pixels from the right, okay? And the Reamaze icon, if you don't like that, um, this is our new, our new icon. And if you don't like that, you can use the question mark. You can use the chat bubbles, okay, whichever one you prefer. And you can make it a little bit bigger. Um, so that, but the default is 44 pixels. Uh, so you can do 55 pixels. Oops, I clicked back by accident. Uh, 55 pixels. Um, you can change the prompt to say like, uh, talk to us. Okay. And you want the prompt delay to be, let's say one second. So after one second, it'll pop up. Okay, you can change that, you know, if, to 15 seconds if you want. And if obviously we're not, not gonna wait 15 seconds here, but let's just change it to two seconds. Okay, that should pop up. And the prompt duration, you can set it to 30 seconds. Uh, we prefer 60 seconds or 45 seconds. Oops, not 6,000, 45, 45 seconds. And you can change the background color. Um, we'll do like a nice like deep purple. Choose, okay, and click next. Okay, so custom form fields, um, if you guys, utilize this right now, definitely give this a, another go and have it update. So the field name, um, let's just call this um, department, okay? And that's gonna be a drop-down field, all right? And then the values, let's do sales, we'll do support, we'll do business and development, um, we'll do shipping, okay? So this refreshes on the fly, so sales, support, biz dev, shipping, and you can add another custom form field, okay? And the field name, we'll call this metadata. And the great thing about this is that you can actually change it to a hidden field. And what this does is it allows you to track the URL of you know where the customer is, what they're looking at, their browser information, whether or not they have uh, cookies enabled. So right now, let's click on URL of the current web page the customer is on. We'll click that, okay? So now when the customer writes in, um, you'll get a little bit of metadata, um, kind of what it looks like here, and it'll tell you, you know, what what web page the customer was on when they contacted you. Okay, so now we can actually add another form field and show you as many as I can. Um, I like to show this one off checkbox. Okay, so this is usually used for like newsletter, and we'll leave it checked by default, and the label will say um, enroll in our newsletter. Okay, and as you can see, it's um, add it on to the bottom here. Now you can leave it as unchecked if you want. Um, if it, you leave it as unchecked, the customer will have to opt in rather than opt out. Um, other fields, uh, just you know, text field, you can treat certain things as code. Uh, it's a little bit more technical, and if you have uh, some, some questions about that, you can contact us at support at reamaze.com and we'd gladly um, show you how that's done. Uh, but for this demo, this, is, this, sounds, this looks pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click next. So here's the code that you need. Um, you just kind of take the script, okay, and you copy and paste it 
into the uh, between the body the, uh, the head tags of your HTML file on your site. So on this one here, you can actually let's go and inspect the source here. We'll actually see that the uh, the script for this widget is between the head tags. Okay, and obviously we're not going to update it right now. Um, but if you were to replace the script that we just saw with this script here, um, the widget will change into something that looks like this. Now, if you're wondering how do how we change kind of the this color here, um, that's we did that in the widget builder. But if you want to change this color here, this is actually under a brand settings. This is under brands appearance settings, and I can just show you that real quick. Um, so that if you if you're in the settings menu already, go to brands, okay, and then go to appearance settings since this is an embeddable widget setting. So click on appearance settings, and then this color here we can just change it. Um, see if we can get close to that purple there. Click choose and just go ahead and update. And this should automatically update if we hit refresh. So now this should be purple. Um, but obviously this widget was designed to be an orange one. Um, but you get the idea. You can change both colors to match. Um, and the widget builder is definitely um, one of your best friends from the ReMA settings menu. Just make sure you, you pick the right ones and let us know what you want. Now if you want the widget builder to show the knowledge base first just change it to knowledge base and the widget will actually show your knowledge base articles before uh, the contact form and then customers can click on the contact us button or the contact us directly button at the bottom uh, to reach the contact form okay so that's it for the widget builder if you need any additional assistance just let us know at support at thanks